there you what? are, darling. Why, I was beginning to worry about you. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been working all morning over at the ranch. You know how I can lose track of time <laughs> over there. Has Luke called? No, darling, I'm sorry. He hasn't. He hasn't gotten into some kind of trouble. <laughs> I'll tell you what. What? They'll make you a deal. I'll get dressed for her birthday party if you promise that we can run <laughs> naked on the ranch. Uh-huh. Even in front of your prize bowl? <clears throat> I can teach them to turn their heads. You're really not fond of this idea of me raising bulls, are you? Oh, I think you've slipped out. What? That is why I love you. Why have I flipped out? Come on. Because the closest you've ever come to a bull was Bessie on the Whitaker farm. <laughs> Your call is ready now. Oh, gracias. Laura, baby, can you hear me? Luke, I, I've been climbing the walls. Why haven't you called me since I've been back from Dallas? Oh, sweetheart, I've tried to, believe me. Yeah, well, this better be good. Uh, remember the phones in Nepal? Who could forget them? I think these, uh, these, uh, these phones in Mexico were designed by the same joker. I mean, you, you, it's, you're lucky to find one that works, and when you do, it's very hard, it's very hard to get a line out. Just tell me that you're all right. Sure, I'm, I'm all right, I'm fine. What about you? Oh, I'm great. Except for a terminal case of missing your face. Oh, my gorgeous face, you mean? <laughs> Must be a bad connection. <laughs> Listen, I've been wondering what that uh, appointment was that you, you went to. What appointment? Oh, uh, that. Um, when do you think you're going to be back? As soon as I get the scepter for our friends. You know that. Now, what about this mysterious date that you had to keep? <laughs> Are you still worried about the cowboy? Oh, baby, I'm always worried about something. Good. Oh, that's cruel and unusual punishment, Mrs. Spencer. Anything to make you come home faster. I don't need incentive. Luke, are you keeping something from me? Like what? Do tell me. Uh, no, well, I mean, if you knew how uh, dull it is around here. I see. You've only had one or two narrow escapes a day. But, uh, baby, I am honestly uh, dying of boredom. Glad to hear it. Uh, listen, I couldn't help but out of here. Why don't you tell Laura you're dying of boredom? Oh, man, what do you want me to tell her? The cops are after me. I've got federalities on my tail. Yeah. On the other hand, I guess she's probably getting a bit suspicious as to what's taking you so long. Yeah, but it, I mean, suspicious is fine. I just don't want to worry about me. Besides, one wife south of the border is enough, don't you think? Good point. Well, gentlemen, are we ready? You know, I could kill Luke for being so mysterious. I want to know what's going on. Oh, there now. Maybe Luke and Peter will be lucky enough to find the scepter. I don't know. Mexico's an awfully big place, you know. You know, the next time he calls, I'm really going to try to pin him down. I just have a feeling that something's not right. Why do you say that? Something in his tone. Well, did you tell him your wonderful news? Oh, no. <laughs> How could you resist? Because I want to tell him in person. Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss the look on his face for the world. Oh, now I feel dreadful. Why? Well, because he should be here with you. If it wasn't for me, he would be. Oh, listen. You have to know Luke. And there wasn't a thing you could have said to stop him from going, really. Laura, what do you think is really going on with Luke? I don't know. I just 
just know that I could wring his neck for not letting me in on it. You know, Felicia is a very smart girl. Well, then that'll keep her out of trouble. <laughs> yes, but the problem is she was already in trouble when she got there, and not of her own making. Look, I'm sure that she's going to figure out who's to be trusted. She's telling me that she's in good hands. Well, I know poor Charles, and you know Felicia, so I believe her. There are so many good people in that town. Laura? Are you getting a little bit homesick? No, I was just thinking about um, family. Sounds as though you're overdue for a visit. I don't know that I'll ever go back. Why not? It wouldn't be the same for me. But why? My mother wouldn't be there. <laughs> she died when, when, when Luke and I were traveling this year. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, that's always such a shock. I didn't even go to the funeral. We don't have to talk about this if you don't want to. Oh, but no. It's all right, family. When did you ever come to terms with death? Oh, darling. It's, it's different for everyone. It's just that, you know, it happened so suddenly. It was a car accident. And there was really no time. Laura, dear, grieving is one thing, but blaming yourself is another. Well, that's what Luke said. Well, maybe someday you'll believe him, and then your grief will pass. Yeah, that's the best thing about Luke, you know. He has the greatest life force of anybody I've ever known. And you're very lucky to be married to him. I know. I can't stop looking at it. I can't either. When I try to move, I can. It's hypnotic. Yeah. The ring on the woman's finger, I... Identical to yours. It doesn't seem possible, though. Have you any idea what seeing your face may feel? Tell me. I can't explain it in words. It's totally understandable. But you see, I did know. Everything I told you was true. Yeah, I should have a picture of this. All three of you are a perfect study in uh, ravenous appetite. Mm -hmm. well, we haven't been eating very well, Sean. Sorry for the pig out. Oh, don't worry about it. Enjoy. Do you know what they say about hefty appetite? It either comes from huge successes or huge frustration. No frustration in this case. Oh, then you were successful. Well, let's put it this way. Things are turning out in a very interesting fashion. Wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. We found everything we expected to. No big surprises? The big surprise is that everything turned out all right. Oh, you just don't be exhausted, huh? Mm. He's right. We should be. Put another pig on the bobby. <laughs> <laughs> and we managed to talk our way into the silver shop. So I gather you got what you wanted. What we wanted and what we found in that shop was sold for parties. Oh. Yeah, well, we got ourselves into a trap, but what's more important, we also got ourselves out of it. And we found the grip by accident. That was the real break. Where did you find that grip, Carla? In the bottom of the trough just outside the shop. Remarkable piece of luck, wasn't it? Well, it um, would have been even more remarkable if the uh, digital hadn't been broken after it got dropped in the silver shop. Yeah, we can't decipher the glyphs, so that's why we've come to a grinding halt. Well, I hope it's uh, not a permanent one. Eh? Uh, you don't happen to have another digital line about, do you? No, I'm afraid I don't, Helen. Can you get one somewhere? I, I don't 
know. I have to. Anyway, that'll take a couple of days. But we don't have that kind of time. No, hardly any, as a matter of fact. Hmm. But there's something that I think you should know. Hmm. I ran into Cruz and Peter in Mexico. Cruz? It's Peter. She introduced him as her brother, Carlos, but from the descriptions I've heard of Peter, I knew it was him. I see. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Don't worry about it. It's something I suspected. Now I, uh, therefore I know. Well, since Peter has the jump on us, it's all the more important that we get the digital in working order. Look, I'm pretty good with gadgets and instruments, so why don't I fiddle around with it for a while, see if I can get this in? Sean, you could be a godsend. Well, look, I said I would try, Ruth. Really. But if I'm lucky, then you won't have lost any more time than necessary. Good, because you can't afford to lose any more. No, we're going one step back, one to the side, three, four. I feel like I'm doing the cha-cha. I know. Listen, mate, you get the photograph, I'll get the digital. All right. All right. I'll go back again tomorrow, but I really have to have a second look at this. Okay, thank you. Oh, Laura! Oh. Laura, this is Mr. Jack Slater. This is Mrs. Spencer. A pleasure, Mrs. Spencer. Nice to meet you. Staying here? I'm considering it. I'm just showing Mr. Slater around. It's a lovely inn, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, are you a guest here? Yes, my husband and I. Oh, he's not here right now, though. He has work in the countryside. Oh, well, that makes two of us. Really? Uh, Mr. Slater is a film producer from Hollywood. Oh, really? Yeah. We're doing a film here. I came early to check out some possible sites. Uh, we're thinking about housing the company there. Well, we'll certainly do our best to take care of them. What's your capacity here? Uh, 20 to 30, but we can't accommodate more. Mm. Why don't we just continue our tour and you can see for yourself. Terrific. It's a real pleasure to meet you. Me too. I hope I see you again. This way, this way. Si, operator. El señor está aquí. Okay. You, you got through. Uh, la línea está abierta. Great. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, uh, no, no. Um, nada, nada. Muchas gracias. Laura? Luke. Oh, I'm so glad you called. Ah, how's everything? Well, never mind about me. Are you all right? I'm, I'm fine. We're hot on the trail. Is Peter helping you? Uh, yeah, yeah, he is. Everything's going great, great. Uh, I've even had some time to do some shopping. Shopping? <laughs> that sounds pretty fishy to me. Are you keeping something from me? No, no. It, uh, you won't think it's fishy when you see these boots that I bought you. What do they look like? Uh, I shouldn't have told you. That was supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> Are they cowboy boots? Yeah, they're beautiful. They're red and black leather. And, uh, I don't know, they're real special. You can only get them in Mexico. Well, hurry up and bring them back then. And by a strange coincidence, your initials are on the boots because the bootmaker, uh, his name is Luis Sanchez, so he puts LS on every pair of boots he makes. Hmm. Well, they're your initials too. Does that mean we're going to have to fight over them? Uh, no, Donnan. Fortunately, my instep is not appropriate for these uh, boots. Hey, look, you said you had a surprise to tell me. Uh, no, I just meant that I'd think of one. They're pretty slippery, you know. Oh, look, can you hold on for a minute? Oh, Laura, Mr. Slater's going to say... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were on the phone. Oh, it's okay, it's just Luke. Um, no need to say anything. Well, I did him my best. 
Um, Mr. Slater, your your room is upstairs. Thank you. This Hollywood cowboy is going to take his boots off the track. Even before I attack. See you again, Mr. Spencer. Laura. Laura, are you there? Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Luke. It, it was just Mariah with one of the new guests. You know what? I just saw a pair of boots that look almost exactly like the ones that you were describing to me. No kidding. Well, they must have come from Mexico. Luis Sanchez is the name of the guy who makes them. I miss you so much. When are you going to come home? Oh, baby, just as soon as I can. <laughs> 